good evening. Well, you know the name by now, so we'll just get straight into it. The next seven days, actually this afternoon, there were a few heavy showers moving through over the upper North Island. There they go offshore now. This map represents about 10 p.m. this evening. I don't know if there was actually any lightning in the end for the upper North Island as those heavy showers moved through, but they may have happened. But let's move to 10 p.m. this evening. There is a change moving through uh, Canterbury. See those heavy showers right there? Although there is a little bit of a lag in these maps in regards to the rain. So while it is a map for 10pm, it's sort of 10pm and the three hours previous in terms of the rainfall. The southerly change is actually going to move through Canterbury right about now. Uh, later this afternoon into this evening, it will trigger a few heavy showers and yeah, there could be some thunder. I don't think the risk is terribly high, but there is a possibility there. Those heavy showers actually move into the lower North Island there overnight tonight. You never know. Could be something. Don't think it's a high chance, but you never know. Okay, let's move to Friday. Uh, the next day, tomorrow. So, we've got a cold front right there moving through. You'll begin to notice these patterns are very similar. Cold front moves through, trough comes in behind. I like the trough. The trough is where the action happens, for the most part. It can happen with the front too, but I like the trough in behind. That's where the cold upper air comes in. That's where your chance of thunderstorms is. So, cold front right there. It pushes northwards along the west coast. We get heavy showers. Could be some thunder. Eventually, overnight uh, into Saturday, uh, that front will reach the North Island there in the west, and there will be heavy showers. Could be a chance of thunder also. But critically, there is a trough down here. Uh, very cold upper air. The winds are going to ramp up. Let's move along a little bit further overnight, 1 a.m. in the morning. So there's that front there. Chance of thunder here in the west as that front moves through. Not a terribly high risk, but there is a chance there. Our trough is in behind. So that's going to trigger a southerly change into Canterbury around about midnight. Uh, showers. There could be some thunder. There could be some hail. Although it's overnight. Uh, there's not very much surface heating, is there, at around midnight? We like surface heating for thunderstorms before changes move through. But the air is quite cold. You never know, something could happen. Those heavy showers move into the lower North Island once again. Later in the night could be something developed there. Let's move to Saturday afternoon, uh, 1 p.m. So we're going to get heavy showers push up the eastern side of the North Island. I don't think there's going to be any thunder risk here, though. But uh, for the upper North Island, cold upper air, uh, southwesterly winds really ramping up. Those winds about the upper North Island are going to be very strong. Gales, there could be thunderstorms, there could be hail. Let's move along a little bit further, this time to Monday. So, another cold front there, pushing over the South Island. And we've got a trough in behind. As that front pushes northwards along the West Coast, yes, there could be a chance of thunderstorms as it moves through. And then uh, overnight, uh, well, later, we'll go to the next map in a second. There it goes, 4 p.m. Actually, that's only into the afternoon, isn't it? It's not overnight, 4 p.m., apologies. There's the front there, it's moving up the western side of North Island, could trigger a storm as it moves through. Once again, not a high risk, but there is a possibility there. But here's our same old scenario, front moves through, trough in behind. So, uh, that moves through Canterbury in the afternoon, triggers a few showers, could be thunderstorms, could be some hail. It's timed perfectly, perfectly with the cold upper air as it moves through. Okay, that's all from me tonight. Uh, off to Steve with some news from the New Zealand Storm Chasers page. Thanks, Aaron, for that outlook. There are definitely a couple of chances around the country for a few of us. Um, not a huge amount down here in Christchurch for me, though, sadly. Just had a bit of a recap from the New Zealand Storm Chasers group over the last week. Had a couple of interesting photos sent in. Um, this one here taken by Jojo Evans. Uh, caption read, Taupo today, along with a mean as, thunderstorm and heavy rain. Mean as. Definitely it's mean as. What exactly is it? Not too sure. Um, I'm going with a funnel cloud. Don't think there's any tornado potential there on this day. And definitely no other photos or reports of a tornado. Unfortunately, the photo has been taken by a potato. Um, so it is pretty grainy, hard to see, hopefully you guys can see it in the video even. Did chuck the question out there if anyone else saw a better photo, but um, sadly no one else did. Um, <laughs> we, ca we comment then from Kerry saying it looks like it's a watercolour painting. So uh, nice watercolour painting there, Jojo. Um, earlier in the week we also received, I'll just scroll down to it, yeah this really close lightning capture uh, by Chloe Quinn. Just blow that up for you to see. Super close, bright, um, of course it's bright, it's a lightning bolt, uh, strike, um, would have been loud as well, probably a little bit terrifying to some people, um, to us that sort of love this sort of severe weather stuff, um, just gets the blood flowing, 100% committed, 
Um, yeah, really good capture by Cloak. A lot of comments on it as well. People really loved it. Um, noticed CB1 even shared it, but I think she did send it off to them. So you probably saw that there a couple of couple of nights ago on the 6.30 uh, or 6 p.m. news if you watch that on mainstream media. Uh, we're on YouTube though. Like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.